Whenever you visit a website on the internet, the chances are pretty good that that site is built with WordPress. WordPress accounts for about 43% of all websites online. I'm victoratvmundo.com and in this video we are going to take out the guesswork and use five different methods to see if a website is built with WordPress or not. I'm going to analyze three different websites to see if they are built with WordPress or not. The first one is the official WordPress website wordpress.org. And I would be surprised if this is not built with WordPress, but who knows? The second website is nasa.gov, and this is the official NASA website, you know, the US Federal Space something something organization. And the third website is squarespace.com, and this is a competitor or an alternative to WordPress. So I would be a bit more surprised if this was built with WordPress. So let's find out. In this blog post on divimundo.com, you can find all the links and resources needed. And if you're watching this on YouTube, the link is in the description below the video. So let's scroll down to the first method and that's adding slash WP hyphen admin to the site address. And you probably guessed right. WP is short for WordPress and admin is short for administrator. So this is the default login address for all WordPress websites. Now, if we go to wordpress.org, I can head over to the address bar and simply hit shift seven for a slash. And then I type WP hyphen admin. And now I'm redirected to a login page. So this is a strong indication that this website is actually built with WordPress. Now this login page can look different on site to site because it's pretty easy to redesign the login page, but it often looks something like this. Now if we do the same thing on nasa.gov, I'll go to the address bar and after nasa.gov I'll type slash wp hyphen admin, enter. And even though this page looks very different from the one on wordpress.org, it's actually a login page. You just have to use this Austronatic smart card super security solution to log in. And I think that's a pretty good idea for an organization like NASA. So this actually suggests that this site is built with WordPress. And this is true. NASA rebuilt their entire website in 2023 using WordPress as a CMS. So I think this is a pretty good argument that WordPress is not just for blogs and small businesses. It could also be used for big international organizations and companies. Now let's test the last site, which is squarespace.com. So we'll add slash WP hyphen admin. And this is a 404. The page you were looking for couldn't be found page. So this suggests that squarespace.com is not built with WordPress. However, I said suggests because it's not a foolproof method and we'll get back to that. So the pros of this method is the simplicity. Just type WP admin and get the result quickly. There is no digging the code or no third party solutions to use. It's just straightforward. However, the cons are that it's not foolproof. It's easy to change the login URL. It's not a feature in WordPress core, but you can use a plugin like WPS hide login. And this is a free plugin that you can install on your WordPress website. And in the settings, you can simply change the login URL to yoursite.com slash anything you want. Also, there's another con and it's inconvenient because now NASA knows that I try to access their login page. They can see that my IP accessed that specific URL and maybe I don't want that. So please don't sue me, NASA. I really like you. Now let's try the second method and that's using an online WordPress detection tool. There are plenty of sites where you can just submit a URL and get a quick answer if the website is built with WordPress or not. My favorite online detection tool is isitwp.com. So let's head over there. And here you can just enter the website URL that you want to test. So I'll start with wordpress.org. 
And within a second, I can see good news. WordPress.org is using WordPress. We can also see the hosting provider. And we can also see what theme this website is using. Now let's do the same thing for nasa.gov. And also good news, nasa.gov is using WordPress. And I can see that the hosting provider is actually amazon.com. We can't see any information about what theme they are using because they have developed their own custom theme. Now let's test the last page and that's squarespace.com. And we can see that squarespace.com is not using WordPress. So we got the same results on all three websites using the first and the second method. So let's go over to method number three, and that's searching the page source for WordPress or WP hyphen. So if we head over to wordpress.org, we can simply right click anywhere in the blank space and choose view page source. And, and now we can see the HTML of the website. And to search it on Mac, I can simply click Command F on my keyboard or on PC it's Control F. And now you should see a search field up to the right. And now I can search for WordPress. Now, since WordPress.org has WordPress in their domain name and also in their text a lot. This is maybe a bit of a clunky method for this specific site. I get 351 matches. But if we scroll down a bit here, I will show you something that will give a clear indication. And that's this row. Let me highlight it. It says meta name generator content equals WordPress 6.4 alpha. So this tells us that WordPress.org uses WordPress as a CMS and they use the version 6.4 alpha. So this is actually a version that's not even public yet when I'm recording this. Now we can also search for WP hyphen. And this is perhaps better when looking at a site that mentions the word WordPress a lot or have WordPress in the address, because you can see here that we have few uh, blocks classes here wp hyphen block so you will find these everywhere if they are using the gutenberg block builder on the site but we can also find it in the url the classic wp content folder which is used for plugins and themes and uh, often the file uploads so on this site we have 1275 matches for wp hyphen so this is a strong indication that that uh, WordPress.org is using WordPress. And if we do the same thing for nasa.gov, I'll click here in the white space and I choose view page source. I'm using Google Chrome, by the way. And I hit Command F on my Mac. And we have 604 matches for WP hyphen. And you can see here the WP content folder with plugins. And if we search for WordPress, Ah, we can actually see that they are using the Rank Math plugin for SEO. So that's good news for Rank Math that um, NASA is not using the good old Yoast plugin. They chose Rank Math. So congratulations to, to Rank Math for that. And uh, we can also see here in the meta name generator content WordPress that they are using WordPress as a CMS and also that they are using the version 6.2.3. Now, I wouldn't recommend to anyone to actually display the version of WordPress here in the source code, because this could be valuable information for a hacker to use backdoors or loopholes in old WordPress versions. So there are ways to hide this. So if we go to the, the blog post, you can see a list here of different plugins like WordFence, Solid Security, formerly known as iTheme Security, or Hide My WP Ghost that can hide the WordPress version in your source code. So that could be a good idea. And uh, that advice is uh, on the house, NASA. So uh, feel free to contact me and hire me if you would like to. I'm open for business. Now let's do the same test on Squarespace.com. 
And now some pages has uh, content everywhere. So it's hard to right click anywhere and, and click uh, view page source. So if that's the case, you can go up to the menu, choose view, choose developer and view source. So that's another method. And you can see here also we have a shortcut here, keyboard, but that's too complicated for me. I think you have to be like a space engineer to, to remember that one. So I'll go by the menu and in here I'll Press Command F and I'll search for WordPress and I get zero matches. And I'll search for WP hyphen and that also gives me zero matches. So another strong indication that says that WordPress.org is built with WordPress, NASA.gov is built with WordPress, but Squarespace.com is not built with WordPress. So the pros of this method is that it's independent. You don't have to use external tools like isitwp.com to check this. You just have to enter the page and use your browser. And you can also get some detailed insights using this method, like seeing what WordPress version is used. There are a couple of cons with this method. You need some technical knowledge to uh, dig in the code, of course. And it might not always be accurate because there could be dynamic content and it's actually possible to rename some of the classes and URLs in WordPress. Let's try another method and that's number four. Right click an image to check the file path. The default behavior when you install WordPress from scratch is that all the image uploads ends up in the wp-content folder. So if we go to, for example, nasa.com and we right click an image, let's see, you can take that one and I click copy image address. I can simply paste it in the address bar and now I can see that the image is located in the wp-content folder, uploads, year, date and file name. So that's a classic WordPress structure. Now we can also see that they host their images on a different server or on a different domain, a subdomain to nasa.gov. Now if we check wordpress.org, we can find an image here, for example this one. I will right click it, copy image address, and now I will paste it in the address bar. And now we can see that it doesn't have the classic WordPress folder structure because they are probably using some kind of CDN solution to host their images externally. So there is no WP content folder here for the images. Of course, the WP.com gives us a clue and the site is called WordPress.org in the address. And we see the classic year and then date, uh, or oh sorry, month folder structure. So it still gives us an indication that this is a WordPress website, but it's not foolproof as you can see. Now let's do the same on squarespace.com. I'll scroll down to find an image. Let's see. Maybe this is an image. I right click it, choose copy image address and I'll paste it. And we can see that they have some kind of CDN server hosting the image, but there is no WP hyphen content here and it's not in the structure of a year, then the month and then the file name. So that's a strong indication that this is not built with WordPress. So the pros here is that it's fast and straightforward. You don't have to know code or dig into any source code. And it also reveals the media storage. So it's interesting to see what kind of solution they use to host their images. But as you could see, there are some cons. They could host their images on external servers. And it's also possible to change the default media folder in WordPress by adding this little snippet to functions.php. And maybe there are no images on a specific page. There might just be text, video, but no images. And then this method doesn't work. Now, the last method, number five, is to use the Wappalizer browser extension. You are probably familiar with browser extensions for Chrome and Firefox. It's like small apps that you can install to your browser. And Wappalizer is a very popular extension for Chrome. So let's try to install that by clicking this link. And I choose Add to Chrome. And this is, of course, a free app or extension. And you should always check the reviews. You can see here that there are 1,874 reviews, five stars. 
and over 2 million users. So this is a trusted extension that you can feel safe to use. Yes, I want to add the extension. Now we get some information here. I will close that. And if we go back to wordpress.org, you will find the extensions here in the little puzzle icon. And here we have Weppalizer or Weppalizer. Now, if you want to have it here in the menu bar, I prefer to have my favorite apps here or extensions. I'll simply click this little pin and now we have it up here. Now I probably need to refresh the page. You can use a hard refresh by pressing the shift button on your keyboard and press re the refresh button. And we can see a few numbers up here now. So if I click there, I can see that we have the CMS WordPress version 6.4. And then I get lots of other information like that they are using Google Analytics for the service and Nginx. They use PHP, of course, that's WordPress. And then we have lots of other information here that they're also using the Gutenberg editor. Now, if I go to NASA, um, I'll refresh this page too. And I'll click the icon here. And we can see that they are using WordPress. For some reason, I can see the version number here. And I can get some other information about the database and the server and the security. Let's do the same thing for squarespace.com. I'll click the icon and I actually don't get any information at all. Yeah, there it comes. It just took some time to load. So the CMS is Squarespace. So there we have the answer. And uh, we can see that they are using Squarespace Commerce, that they ha have advertising on Twitter and Reddit, Microsoft and Teeds. They have some different analytics lots of them tag manager they use a ahrefs for seo they have cookie compliance from trust arc etc so the pros here are obvious this is comprehensive you can detect various technologies not just if it's wordpress or not and it's very convenient you always have it in your browser bar in the top it's just one click to see it but of course there are a couple of cons you need to install an extension and of course it's browser dependent. You have to use Chrome or Firefox to use. And of course there are alternatives to Weppalizer if you want to use other browser extensions. And I have a link to 10 powerful alternatives to Weppalizer in the blog post if you want to explore that. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a comment, like and subscribe. That would make me very happy. Until next time. Take care.